Hey guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make oysters Rockefeller. So, in the last video I did, I showed you how to open an oyster and actually how to eat it as well. And this one, I'm going to show you a cooked way on how to make them. So, I prepped most of the ingredients so that I could go a little bit faster in this video. Uh, check out how to open oysters in the video below if you do not know how. But, let's get started. So, as you know, when you're making a sauce or you're making anything, there's steps to do. So, basically, let's get started, what I did. I chiffonated some parsley. Again, there's a video below on how to do it. I microplaned some shallots. I grated some cheese. I got some wine, I got some cream, I got some parmesan. That's basically all you need. So, what's a microplane? It's basically a fancy way of saying a grater. It's a fine grater. That's like the lazy way on how to do the garlic, how to do the shallots. Microplaning does everything. Props to... The catering company that I was with that showed me this technique, it's awesome. So my pan is getting nice and hot. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of butter, just like this. And it's already getting nice and hot. Oh yeah, these are colors that you want. So I'm going to throw in the onions right away. They're very liquidy. Look, look at this. Look, look how liquidy it is and mushy it is. So. That oil is already starting to brown, which is not necessarily something we want, but it's not that bad. We just gotta make sure that, oh my God, this smells awesome. You just gotta spread those that onion love. I'm next gonna take that garlic, which I microplane, bam, inside. And I'm gonna put a little bit of oil, just because the oil, the butter starts to brown quite a little bit. Perfectly fine. Give it a little bit of a mix. Bam. There you go. Now, we don't want this to cook too, too much. Just to brown a little bit, which it's already starting to do, so that's perfect. We're gonna deglaze a little bit, and then we're gonna add in the spinach. Why I deglaze? Obviously, to remove all the flavors from the bottom. It's also gonna be a liquid for the spinach, so the spinach doesn't overcook. And it cooks properly, and it shrinks. That's what we want. So at this point I'm going to add in the wine. I'm using white wine. That's best to use for Rockefeller because it's white. It's the white wine on white. Oh yeah! Woohoo! So we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to let it settle down a little bit and then we're going to add in the spinach. Just baby spinach. Oh, it's getting nice and brown. Oh yeah. Look, look how beautiful it is. And the smells that are coming off it is just fantastic. So, I'm gonna throw it in because it's good enough. You wanna, you want a healthy amount. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a lid on it. Just so that the oil, the, just so that humidity doesn't escape. Like I said, I want it nice and shriveled up, but I don't want it to burn because it's on a dry, this is a dry heat method. So right now I'm doing a, a mix of both. I'm going to let it sit for maybe like a minute like this, and then we're going to be ready to start the next steps. So let me put a, a little cork <laughs> on this wine. Uh, so basically the next step after this, we're going to add in a little bit of cream. We're going to add in some of the cheese. Uh, I'm going to leave a little bit of the cheese for the garnish to make it look nice and sexy. Once the sauce is done, we're going to be adding it to the oysters that are here. I showed you in the last video on how to do this, so it's perfectly good. It's in a baking sheet. We're going to be popping this in as is for a minute. Now, what does that do? It cooks the oyster a little, little, little bit. What you could also do is put the shell on, cook it for a tiny bit longer, and that, that water in the oyster, or the brine in the oyster, will uh, uh, calibrate it a little bit, so it's not going to overcook. The trick is you want to keep that liquid and that sauce, and it's going to be a very nice mix. So, as you can see, it's steaming quite a bit, and I'm going to pop in another song. Bam. Check that out. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to add in a little bit of more wine. Give me one second. A little bit more butter, a little bit more wine, and uh, 
that we should be good to go. I think I should, I don't know if I should add any more spinach. Not, I only have seven oysters, so it's not a big deal. Be, be very careful when you add in the butter, guys. I'm a semi, well, was a semi-professional, so I can afford to get a little bit hurt, but uh, I do this out of love. I don't want anyone here to get hurt. So I'm adding a little bit more butter and a little bit more wine, just a tiny bit. Because it got a little bit too dry, and I don't like that. So, let's grab all that extra stuff from the bottom. How we like it. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of cream. And I'm going to throw in half of that cheese. Made a little bit of a mess, but that's fine. Cooking sometimes, uh, you make a little bit of a mess. So you want to break up that cheese a little bit. You want to make sure that sauce is touching everything. Because you don't want blobs. See that, see, see by the color, that, that brown butter now, it's giving a little bit off of a color. Which I don't necessarily like a whole lot, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So now I'm going to get this lid out of the way. Um, the sauce is reducing a little bit too fast. So I took it off the heat. Next, I'm going to add in some of that Parmesan. Now, what, what the Parmesan does, it actually thickens it. It also flavors it a little bit more. I'm going to add in a little bit of black pepper. I'm not going to add in any more. I'm not going to add in any salt. Because a lot of these agents already in here are already salty. Now, do we want the sauce as brown as it is? Not really. But... Taste-wise, it's going to be fine. It's going to have another dimension of flavor. So when you do it at home, try not to put butter at the start. Okay, see what see, see how thick the sauce got with that parm? It got nice and thick. So that's what we want. I'm going to put a little bit more parm to make it a little bit more thicker. And obviously, it's going to be nice and salty, which is nice. I love salt. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be so nice. Can't wait to eat this. Okay. So that's that's about good to go. So that's done. I'm gonna shut this off. Stove's off. Now I'm gonna put the broiler on. Cause I'm gonna broil it. I'm not gonna do it the other method, the uh, just the normal oven method. Why? Because I want the heat going this way. You could also do it the other way. But I do it the broiling way. What's going to be nice though, with the cheese, you're going to have a nice, nice effect at the top. I'm going to wait for my uh, uh, my broiler to get max heat, and then I'm going to pop it in. Guys, I really encourage you, eat more oysters. There's a lot of people that don't like it. They say, oh, the texture is not nice, blah, blah, blah. A lot of them also never had it cooked. So the people that don't like the texture in the raw form, they'll like it in the cooked form. I recently cooked for someone that did not like oysters, but then when they ate it cooked like this, they absolutely loved it. They're going to want to eat it again. And that's partially why I made this video also for them because they loved it and they wanted to know how I did it. Man, that sauce is so nice. Another thing that you could add in that's not really, uh, I'm going to say kosher, is uh, Dijon. That also will also thicken it, it'll add another dimension of acid. And that's really nice with the fat content because there's a lot of fat content in there as well. So the broiler's good. I'm gonna pop the oysters in. You wanna be careful in the broiling method with the liquid. That's what's gonna make it evaporate. So you gotta be super, super careful. I'm adding in for like 30 seconds to one minute just so the oyster itself gets a little bit hot. But generally speaking, you don't wanna like blast it because then all the it's gonna vaporize all the liquid. Next, I'm going to get a mitt because I don't want to burn myself. Bam. And it's a good thing that I kept all that extra cheese because that's basically going to go right on top and it's going to make a nice, nice little effect. So, while I'm here, I want to thank everyone for watching the video. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos. I absolutely love to do it. If people have suggestions, I try my best to do it. 
there's certain products that are a little bit more expensive. So someone asked me if I can make a, a beef ten, uh, beef Wellington. I can, but you know, <laughs> filet mignon is a little bit expensive. So those kinds of recipes I'm gonna do a little bit later. Maybe I'm gonna have a little bit of funding. So I'm gonna put that towards making uh, those kinds of videos where it's a little bit more expensive. I also wanna work with like, for example, lobsters or make sushi, but light, like nice tuna quality. So these are future videos. I will 100% do whatever videos you guys want. I love you all. So I'm gonna pop the oysters out of the oven. Just gotta be a little bit careful. I don't want this touching the burner, but I need some space. Oh yeah. See, I, I, you guys can't see this, but there's a little bit of steam coming off the oysters. So how I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna grab my spatula, which is here. I'm gonna shut this. You could grab a spoon, which, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab a spoon, it's better. Or a fork, actually doesn't make a difference at this point. I'm just gonna move some of this stuff. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add in some of that liquid. Because it's so thick, it doesn't matter if it's a spoon or a fork. But I wanna try and apply it to the oyster. I don't have a crazy amount to work with, so I'm putting the sauce, or yeah, the Rockefeller sauce, on the thicker oysters first. And then the extra, five extra later, you know, I could put it back. But I wanna put a little bit on each one first. As it cooks, it's gonna thin out a little bit, then it's gonna spread. Yeah, I needed more sauce, but that's perfectly fine. It'll work out in the end. I go th I go very thick on the sauces. I put a lot. You guys don't have to put as much as me. Now see, this is not good. I gotta push that down. The liquid started to come out, and I don't want that. So, oh, that hurt. I kind of burned myself on that one, but don't worry about it. <laughs> Mistakes happen. Do not touch this with your fingers, it's burning me now. So now I have, oh, I have more than enough, that's fine. I have more than enough. I got scared for nothing. Sometimes I'm a little bit of a nervous Nelly. Okay, so that's good to go. I'm gonna pop in another song, because I don't have a playlist, which I should do. Now, let me try this off. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Mmm. Jesus, that's good. Okay. I'm grabbing that extra cheese like I, that I told you about. By the way, you could use whatever cheese you want. I would suggest a stronger cheese. This is a extra strong cheddar. You could also use like a gruyere. I mean, a, a brie could work, but it's not really uh, for Rockefeller's oysters, but it could still work. And you also want to distribute a little bit so that it covers. As it's gonna melt, it's gonna spread out, so you don't have to worry too, too much. Ooh. Should I do some bit more? Nah, it's okay. Just to show you how it's done. Okay, so now, pop this back in the oven. Don't forget your mitt. Ouch. And now, I'm trying to keep it as local as possible, and I'm putting it directly under the broiler. So, I'm trying to be very careful. I'm not putting it like directly, directly. I'm putting it kind of like on the edge. If I put it directly, it's gonna cook too fast and I don't want that. So, I put it at like a medium heat and I put it away. Uh, at When I think it's ready to go, I'm gonna full blast it and then I want that nice caramelized effect. I'm also gonna garnish it with, like I said, the chiffon and parsley. I'm gonna put a little bit more parm. I'm so happy with this. I love Oasis Rockefeller so much. Uh, I wanna work with clams next. So give me some ideas what you guys wanna see clam wise. And uh, I'm gonna make it happen. Mussels as well. I can make a very, very nice mussel sauce. That's actually super, super easy to do. Maybe it's gonna be like five ingredients and it's amazing, good to go. 
I'm gonna be making uh, fresh pastas. I just need to borrow uh, my grandmother's pasta maker and then bam, make some nice semolina pasta. Check those oysters. Not ready yet, not ready yet, but it's getting there. You know what I'm gonna do in the meantime? I'm gonna grate some more cheese. It's very important to have your mise en place or your preparation done beforehand. Sometimes you make mistakes, guys. And sometimes you have time to correct them. <laughs> and sometimes you don't. But now I have time. So I'm going to grate a little bit more cheese. And I'm using my microplane. Just so I can have a little bit finer cheese. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have way more than enough. Okay, I'm gonna grab the oysters out of the oven now. I'm gonna put more cheese and I'm gonna put, shove it back in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, see, it's starting, it's starting to cook. See the cheese? But it doesn't have that sexy effect that I want. So this is where I'm gonna put more cheese now and I'm gonna blast it. It's already starting to look super nice. I just, I gotta be, very liberal and try and put it everywhere. Man, these songs are so short. Okay. That's about it. Like I said, you guys could use mignonette as well with raw oysters. But you know what? I'm thinking I tried to do like a cooked version somehow. But oh. the recipe is quick, but the thing is. You need everything done beforehand, and it just shoots out. Uh, it will probably it probably comes out faster if I'm not explaining everything. But I'm trying to do my best to try and explain every single little thing, so nobody could say, "Why is this 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 wrong?" or like, "Why am I making a mistake?" Blah blah blah. I want it just to be simple. I want everyone to understand because I love everyone, and I want everyone to eat very well. Food is life. Some of this. While I have a little bit of time, I'm gonna play around with the angle. Uh, should be okay. Nope, a little bit more. It's not the easiest thing to work. Okay, that's nice, okay. Okay guys, let's get me ready. Oh my god, oh my god. This looks so beautiful. Okay, so disclaimer, very, very hot. Even if it means dirt in your glove, do not burn yourself. I'm gonna be using a glove. Cause it's gonna be very hot. So now, the way I do it is the points this way. And you turn your plate at the same time. Oh, that's, oh, that's a hot puppy. Okay, you know what? No more glove. The gloves come off! <laughs> oh, it's not that bad, guys. I was just being a worry, a worry Nelly for, any, for nothing. Okay. Woohoo! The pan is on, though. See that beautiful liquid there? Amazing. Woo, that was hot. I just don't want that beautiful liquid on me because uh, I'm gonna burn myself. So now I gotta make a little bit of space. Because there's a little guy here that wants to come in. And I don't want to neglect anyone. Okay. Seriously? <laughs> so nice! Okay, now I take my chiffonade parsley. Oh my god. The funny thing is, if you get this at a restaurant, especially a fancier one, you're, you're spending like $25, $30. When you can do it at home. Just do it at home, it's better. Look how nice that is, guys. Now, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna see it as nice as I see it, cause the camera's poo poo. But I'm actually working on getting a better high quality camera for you guys. It just takes a little bit of time. So, I'm gonna try my best to make it look beautiful. Oh my God, okay wait. Oh, that's so nice, guys. You know what? The overhead one was, was better. 
There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Well, nice that is. Okay, guys. That concludes this video. Whoa, long video. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I got a, a bit ahead of myself. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking around and watching the video. Like or subscribe down below if you enjoyed it. Um, you know I'm gonna have more videos. You know it. I pop out one or two videos every like day or two days. So give me suggestions. Tell me what you want. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I love you all. Bye-bye.